Hey, how y'all doing? It's Craig here again. Special little treat. Gasoline Saw YD GRT 2500. Come from China. Well, actually, it come off of eBay. Um, but it, it is a Chinese clone. Uh, 25.4 cc's, two stroke of course, uh, supposed to have a 10 inch bar. The best I can figure, it is a Chinese clone of a Zenoa G2500. I've been on the internet cruising, trying to find some stuff as to what it is what it may be. Um, I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to be from pictures that I've had that was on eBay. I was able to compare them to some other pictures that was supplied by the Zenoa website and also Farmer Tech, the Hutzel website for Farmer Tech, which is their John Cutter. This is just the parts list here. Uh, G2500 and G2500 OPS, which stands for One Push Start. Uh, I don't know exactly what that entails, but I think it's kind of like the Troy built um, Easy Starts where you, you pull the rope and it winds up a coil or it winds a spring up in the starter. You push the button and it releases it, then it spins it to start it. I'm pretty sure that's how that operates, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, all the information that I've got right here on paper, I've printed from the internet, uh, so it can be found just about anywhere. Like I said, this saw here come off of eBay. I paid $91 and some change for it. Uh, actually, I didn't. My son did. Um, he bought it. But this is a John Cutter. This is the, the former Tech Hutzel. Um, I got some other information in here, some other pictures. And it looks really similar to that. According to the pictures that were on the eBay site. The only difference is on the PTO side. I think the the pull start housing may be just a little different. But the um, clutch cover, exhaust cover is, is a little different. The one I've got I think has a score opening uh, according to the pictures that was on the eBay site. Other than that, it, it all looks pretty much identical to the um, John Cutter and it looks surprisingly similar to the Zenoa 2500 G2500 um, this is just a, this is an owner's manual that I, I downloaded off of, or off of the internet from the Zenoa website. Um, for you, those of you who do not know, Zenoa is spelled uh, Z-E-N-O-A-H. Uh, that is a Japanese company that was founded December the 12th of 2007. It is also part of the Husqvarna group. Uh, I don't know if Zenoa itself has been in production longer than 07, but it says Husqvarna Zenoa Company LTD was founded December 12, 2007. It has 440 employees as of December the 6th of 2016. Um, it tells where its office is. It's in Japan. So it's been around for a while, but Zenoa is now actually part of the Husqvarna group. Um, we'll get to the unboxing here in just a little bit. This is what the Zenoa version of it looks like. And this 
is like I said, this is just the operator manual. Specifications for the G2500T, it's 25.4 cc's, 1.6 cubic inches. Has a fuel tank volume of 0.23 liters or 7.78 fluid ounces. The oil tank volume is 0.16 liters or 0.34 US pints. Uh, without the bar and chain, the power head only weighs 6.39 pounds. So it's relatively light. Uh, like I said, it's a little top handle saw. And it's probably going to be very similar, if not exactly the same, to the one that a Fleet Command Walt done on the Fleet Command when he um, done a, a review of the um, John Cutter that um, was sent to him by Farmer Tech. There, there's a better picture of what it looks like. That's the Zenoa. That's the OPS, the one push start. It's got a little button right up here, so I assume you pull the, the cord, winds up the spring, and then you push the release and it spins it to get it started. That would be my best guess. But that is not what we have. We've got just the traditional... Um, so anyway, that's the rest of that's just the regular owner's manual for all the um, people who are not up to speed on how to operate or how to care for or how to maintain um, their saw or, or their investment. So we'll put all this stuff back out of the way. There's also a specification sheet in here that tells you how to mix your oil. Um, what size spark plug, you know, it just gives you all the general specifics, the size chain, the clutch, the teeth on the clutch, and so forth. So, here we go. This will be the, the official unboxing of this, what I believe is a clone of a Zenoa G2500, uh, manufactured in China. command well on his page uh, gives you an owner's manual uh, gives you a little mixing bottle it says fill the gasoline to the scale marked gas then fill to the oil until the scale marked oil um, Honestly, I don't know what they're referring to. I'll have to read in the, in the manual to see how that's to be used, but I probably won't even use that. A 3 8 50 thousandths, 40 drive link chain. A little tool pouch. Adjustment screwdriver, a file, a scrunch, a Allen wrench, a um, socket cap um, tap, probably for the dog, and the dog, of course. A little plastic scabbard, and a 10 inch bar, sprocket tip nose got four um, rivets or pins in the sprocket tip. Kind of dented up there, but that's just where it was rested against it. Okay, here it comes. That's everything in the box there. Go ahead and take it out. Also have a, a strap. There it is. This one is very, very similar to the Zenoa. It's even got the round 
opening there for the exhaust. Let's go back here to the pictures right off the Zanoa's web page. Let me find them here real fast. I got the pull start side. Let me find the PTO side here. Well, wouldn't you know. Okay. There is the 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 exhaust opening is a little bit different in the Zenoa. But other than that, it pretty much looks identical. There's that possessed pool on. Okay, so I would I would have to venture to, to say, and my best guess is, this is a Chinese copy of the Zenoa C2500. Acts like it's got a little bit of compression. here. Looks like I've got to remove a screw there. The brake was actually applied. It is a outboard clutch. And it is a spur sprocket instead of a rim sprocket. Traditional clutch band Kind of reminds me of like the 450s, the 435s, the 455 Husqvarna's, even the um, 51s, 55s. They were all in the clutch cover. up a shot of grease. There is a little hole in it right there. So I'll give it a couple shots of grease. start this thing up dry. I am going to put it on with all the writing in the upright position. Just put the trash on the floor there behind dummy. I'll pick it up after we're done here. Actually probably I'll put the dog on first.
there are actually two socket cap screws in here. Uh, these just go right into the plastic. It only only goes on one way. You can't mess it up. This takes the smaller of the it actually gives you two Allen wrenches. It takes the smaller of the two. I guess it's going to be cutting threads as you put it in. So you got to apply a little bit of force to it as you're trying to start it. Makes it a lot faster, a lot easier. Now these are definitely some taps that you do not want to over tighten. Because it would be real easy to strip that plastic out. It's nice and snug. And that's all the further I'm going to go with that. That's a three millimeter on the Allen wrench there. So then we'll go ahead and, like I said, I'm going to install the bar with the writing to, to the top. toward the front of the, the bar, not toward the back. Uh, it definitely won't cut very good if you've got the chain on improper. It does have a chain catch down here, a plastic one. He bought this because he does landscaping, some tree service and stuff and he needed something that was rather small just to trim bushes and stuff uh, some higher fruit trees and stuff where he couldn't get in with these regular um, pruners so that's why he bought this and like I said it was right about $98 and change or best offer I hit him at 85 he come back with a $95 offer when I made the offer, there was 12 left. When he counter offered at 95, there was three left. I had three dollars and something in e-bucks for eBay, so I went on ahead, accepted the 95 dollar bid, applied my e-bucks that was due to expire February the second, and got it for 91 dollars and some change. I can't. It, it was right around 90 dollars, 91 dollars and 50 cents total. Uh, that included free shipping. Uh, a little bit cheaper than what the John Cutter um, version was. OK, 
Okay, we're going to have to run the adjusting adjuster back. Okay, there's it's the the outboard adjuster. Uh, I had a straight screwdriver. Here we go. So we'll run that adjuster back. Actually, that's pretty smooth compared to some of them that I've had to deal with. Uh, I see. There's some little dog latches here on the back. So you got to make sure you get them in before you clamshell it up, so to say. Because if not, the back of it will be loose. So that's still got to go back a little more. Okay, that should be plenty. And I still don't have them in here in the back. Okay, I'm locked up there in the back. Looks like I'm good there in the front now. Okay, looks pretty good to me. It's a little tight, but that's a brand new bar. It's got some paint on the rails. So I'm sure that once the paint gets wore off and the chain stretches, it'll be it'll be decent shape. May even have to take and tighten it up a little bit. Put this bottom tap back in it. Again, that's into plastic, so just nice and snug. Don't overdo it. Chain brake seems to work pretty good. Okay. The only other thing that I really want to look at before I get started is take the cover off and look down in at the air filter box. It's just got a little foam air filter in it. Choke sets the high idle. Operator presence lever. Choke goes off when you hit the throttle. Your own off switch. Primer bulb. Gas oil mix on top. Chain bar oil on the bottom. ahead and put some bar roll in it.
this may take a while for this oil pump to pick this oil up. This oil is pretty stiff. It's probably, I don't know, 25 degrees out right now. That's about half full it looks like. There I can start seeing it. It's just about full now. And that is some stringy stuff. That's why I like that oil. Too bad I can't find it no more. Put some gas in it here. Let me go over and get the gas. As always, shake it, even though this gas is only about four days old, I still shake it. This is 32 to 1. I just ran it over. It's a good way to start. Clean it up right off the bat. Okay. Let me shut set the camera up here and we'll do a first start on this thing. Assume up is on. I'm going to pump the primer bulb. I don't know. We'll do it about six or seven times. I got gas in five pumps. There's eight, nine, ten. Okay. Truck's on, I think the ignition's on, prime, let's see what she'll do. Three poles and it popped. adjusted the high sides a little lean and to be honest with you I have no idea what they have for an adjustment down in there so we'll come back down here real fast Let's see if we can't find out what it is looks like it's just a straight screwdriver hence the carb adjusting screwdriver Before I do
do that. Uh, this is not marked. I like to mark my screwdrivers, my adjusters. I just take a sharpie and on the edge where it's on the flat of the screwdriver I just take and highlight or mark make that black that way when I'm turning it I've got a reference point So I'm going to open the, the low up about a quarter turn. I'm going to open the high up about a quarter turn. The idle seemed to be a little high, so I'm going to back the idle down a little bit. Now we're going to go back around here. Let's see what we got now. issue with the pump, the oiler system, or if it's just that thick oil. I may wind up taking and putting just a little bit of kerosene or some diesel fuel in that oil to thin it out a little.
top end, but I'll leave it there until we get three or four or five tanks of gas run through it. to be able to see that. So I think for less than a hundred dollars if you need a trimmer, man that thing's, you'd be able to cut overhead at that. It's it's light. Especially all you're doing is pruning. I wouldn't cut nothing more than four or five inches in diameter with this. Probably the strap, so when you're climbing, this would be the shoulder strap it's for when you're climbing trees. There you are, a Chinese clone of a Zenoa. C2500, I believe it was. Let me look here real fast. G. A Zenoa G2500. This is the Chinese clone off of eBay. $95. Free shipping. And then, like I said, I had some eBay bucks that I used. Brought it down to uh, about $91.50-ish. I can't remember the exact cost. 10 inch bar, 3 8 chain, looks like a low pro, 50 thousandths gauge, inside dog, outboard clutch, outboard chain adjuster, uh, on off switch, operator presence lever, choke, and a regular pull start. It is vibration dampened, has rubber mounts in it and a primer bulb. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.